Hello, my friends, my relatives, and esteemed colleagues. Since uh, more and more people are aware also of uh, changing frequencies and uh, that something is happening, that some change is about to happen, uh, we have um, a lot of misunderstanding going on. Um, I'm just saying that the new generation, and the new generation is, you know, anything after 2000, uh, is lost more than any other generation before. And why? Because somehow we are getting overly educated. And by educated, I mean we basically are forced to absorb certain facts and some knowledge that is always being manipulated. And we can start here from the foundation of a family because parents teach their children what they know and what they have accepted to be truth. And what they have accepted to be truth came from the society. Who controls the society? Well, before were kings and nobles, now is, are the politicians. Uh, from feudalism, um, which is the dictatorial system, we have gone into populism where everybody is policing everybody else under stimulation, being stimulated to do so by the government, by the officials. Now, not going too much into politics, when we are talking about the food, and as I'm explaining that all we have to do, because we have lost our ways, because we are overly educated, we have absorbed too much false narrative that we have accepted as our truth. And then we see actually that it doesn't seem to be that way. The only thing is it's hard to fight against the implanted beliefs. This is why doctors continue poisoning people even when they see that they are doing harm. They just don't have any other solution and the trust, okay, I give chemotherapy, now patient is just about dying from it, but he recovers, loses all the hair, almost lost him, but no, no it's helping him. <laughs> In what freaking way is that helping him? But again, brain just doesn't get it, okay? It's confusion. Now you have children coming out of a college and they're all commies without single one of them actually experience communism. You just have to smell it and you know it stinks. But since you have a false narrative, you have a false information being set in your brain, okay, you just take it for granted and you think, well, this is how it is. When we talk about health, now we are being influenced the same. We are being influenced by the government. We are being influenced by religion. And we are being influenced by science. And there is nothing more contradictory than science itself. Because there are scientists who actually think and then they see that things are not the way as the mainstream science wants people to believe. So there is a conflict and people are being left in the middle. So how do we learn? By reading. The more you read, the more you think you are educated. Well, but it all depends what you are reading. 
There are people who only watch mainstream news, TV. And they have completely different understanding from people who actually ditch the mainstream TV and do their research and communicate with each other, communicate with people directly on the scene. And their understanding is completely different. And now you have the lost generation that goes in between and then looks here, looks there, and then always picks something that is more politically or religiously correct. So this is why I often get attacks. How? Oh, how? You cannot um, be righteous. You cannot raise your frequency if you continue eating meat. Because if you eat meat, you are a killer. You are a bad, bad guy. Well, it was not me who created the system. It is our creator, which we are all part of, but we forgot. Okay, so it's a big experiment. It's a, it's a very tough program that we have created and that we have lived through. It's over. But until now, we lived through it. And in this program, everything was programmed. So every animal, every plant, every stone, every molecule of water was programmed to represent certain frequency and in total to represent what we call our reality. So every animal, including us, we have a set programming. And when we follow the program, we live healthy. If we shift the frequencies, if you go out of tune, well, our body goes out of tune and we see ourselves as being sick. It's as simple as that. This is why there are no diseases, chronic diseases in wildlife, in nature, but humans and domestic animals that humans are feeding, they all become sick. So what is the reason? The food, shift of a frequency. How do we shift the frequency? By cooking. But no, now the righteous one comes because now all of a sudden they're extremely spiritual and they start to separate themselves from us bad people. Because now they know, it says in the Bible, thy should not kill. And again, mis misinterpretation. One should not kill for a pleasure or benefit other than survival. How are you going to live if you don't kill when this is the form, how the nature, how this program was formed? Let's say we have a plants and let's say plants don't sense anything. And let's say we have herbivores and herbivores, well, they eat plants. Okay, so already this is destruction. But let's say it's plants don't sense anything. So now herbivores multiply and multiply and multiply. We know more plentiful food, more plentiful life. So herbivores will multiply faster and they end up eating everything, all the plants and what they will eat then. They'll starve to death. So I guess this is humane. We just don't think. We become righteous. The game was created to be the most efficient. So, you have a plants, you have animals that feed on plants, and then for them not to endanger the plants. Now you have animals that feed on those animals that feed on plants. So you can call them symbiotic herbivores. Well, we are those. 
this way, the population of herbivores doesn't go out of sync. And also nature made it sure that certain animals are basically being offered as a food. How do we know it? Because they bury big amount of young. Mice, rats, they multiply very rapidly. You have generation after generation, you take one, one pair in one year, man, you have a whole city full of rats. But rats are perfect food for many carnivores. And now why rats multiply quick? Because number one, they also very often eat decay. So more decay is there, more garbage, more rats you're going to have. And then you get more carnivores that will feed on those rats. You get cats, you get bears, you get whatever animal, dogs, whatever animal can feed on them. It is known more plentiful is the food source, more animal life is around it. And there is never any problem of uh, endangering a life as long as there is plenty of food. Only men endanger life. Why? Because it kills for pleasure and it kills indiscrimin indiscriminately for beliefs. Oh, rhino horn, when it's grind and when you eat it, it's very good for prostate and gives you erection. Bingo! Now you cannot find rhino anymore. They kill a rhino just for the nose. And the whole story is a bullshit. But it's combination of religious belief, medical beliefs, and human stupidity. Then you have beliefs that cow are saint animals and you cannot eat them, so you have people starving and they end up eating only plants and getting sick with diabetes and uh, high blood pressure and uh, allergies because of lack of protein while cows are walking all over the place and in their house and messing everywhere. But human stupidity. Then you have the kosher system. Oh, pigs, terrible. They dunk in the mud, they are, um, they are dirty, they are filthy, should not be eaten, don't eat pigs. But on the other part of the country, of, of the globe, you go down to Malaysia, the pig is the most valuable source of protein. If a woman has a child, you can see baby glued to left nipple and a pig, a piglet glued to the right nipple. It treats the little pig as a child. That's how important food source is pig. So obviously, the only thing that stays in a way of healthy eating is a human stupidity. Often I'm being told, well, you cannot raise frequency because killing keeps you down. Well, these people obviously had never been hungry and had never depend on their own for food. They get the money, they go to market, they buy, they have no clue where the food comes from. I would like to see them one month in the nature, in the wild, and to scavenge for themselves, to feed themselves. And then, after they are well hungry and skinny, put one rabbit and give them a rock. Let me see if they are going to use that rock on the rabbit. I bet you they will. I've been in this situation because I lived alone for a long time. Okay, okay, I lived on a yacht, but I have been anchored on islands when there are no people, in Bahamas, for example. So I had to eat, I ate fish. So I speared, I went down, I had a dog, I had to spear fish for my dog and for myself. I never killed more than I could eat. But I was very happy when I had a good shot on 
fish that I really liked to eat. And when I didn't have to then eat, then I had my camera and I was taking beautiful pictures and fish were my friends. This is called survival. As far as frequency goes, the only thing that shifts frequency is cooking. So all those righteous and woke people who think that one should not kill, well, you are lowering frequency when you are cooking your veggies. And if you eat them raw, you will starve to death because you cannot digest them. So tell me, how do you think you will survive. People are not aware that by shifting frequency, by cooking vegetables, they are shifting their own frequency. They are putting their body out of tune and creating disease. I am as conscious being as anybody else. And now I'm basically carnivore. And no, I don't have to kill my own meat, but I understand where it's coming from. So before I eat it, I always thank for sacrifice. Because every animal sacrifices itself. You will not catch animal unless it is sacrificed itself for your benefit. And this is why you always thank the animal, ask for forgiveness, and then you're ready to go. Your frequency is not depending on what you eat, but how you eat it. As long as it's raw, it has the proper frequency, and it is not going to interfere with your frequency in any way. You cannot say that lions and tigers are evil animals, and bears are evil animals, and, I don't know, goat is the God crea creation. We are all God's creations, programmed by Creator to eat certain way, and if you don't follow the program, you get sick. Simple as that. And I have more and more vegans as a client. It takes a while before you realize that you are extremely toxic on cellular level because you don't show any symptom of disease as long as these toxins are embedded in your cells. Once when they start leaking out, hey, you're in trouble. And then it's a long way to recover. And even the motion, the thought that plants don't know they don't have nerve system developed. You don't need nerves to know. Consciousness does not have nerves. Consciousness is aware of everything. There was experiment done, and that was years ago. I read the book 45 years ago. So the book is, I don't know, 100 years old. And it's called The Secret Life of Plants, from which I learned more than more important information than I got in the whole veterinary school. And that's about electricity, about communication. And there we say, oh, plants does not feel, plants doesn't know. They had plants, they put electrosensitive meters on them and monitor them from different rooms. And when one person was coming in singing and then watering, spraying all the plants, cleaning them, the electric signal was nice, steady. When another person was coming, yelling, and enters the room and starts with a stick destroying some plants, the other plants showed increased electric activity. They went into shock. And after a couple of days, it was enough just 
for that person to, to yell in next door, in another room, and all the plants in the other room will go into shock. Anticipated that they are going to be destroyed. Or they will witness destruction of another plant. And what really blew me off was that in the center of the room they have placed a ball with a heater underneath. In a ball they put water with shrimp, little live shrimps. And they lit the fire, the heater on. They left the room, leaving the uh, sens sensitive equipment on the plants. And just about time, when they thought that the water is about to boil, that all the um, uh, lobsters or all these things which are, were in the water are going to die, all the plants in the room, they went into shock had nothing to do with them. It was happening away from them, but they were aware of it, and they suffered. And now you want to tell me that it's okay to eat plants, but you cannot eat a shrimp. Why? Because it makes you feel better, because you are so disconnected that you don't understand. You don't think twice about taking down a tree, burning it for wood, taking the scraps of paper, writing, and every mistake you make, you just throw the paper away. This is all the plant. You are being destructive. Aren't you righteous now? We have to learn the reality. We have to know who we are, where we came from, and how to behave. So this way, we do as little harm as possible. And we can live happy lives. Now, fortunately, the program is over. We are shifting. And hopefully we'll be smarter this time around and we'll create some, a better script for better reality. And not only that I hope, I know we are, because I've seen beginnings of it. And it is marvelous, and I can't wait to get there. And soon we will be there. Hopefully, next year, in about 13 months, 14 months, we'll be there. So, re-examine your thoughts. Think twice before you accuse somebody else. Thank you for being here. Talk to you next time. Love you all.